We have our base on our slideshow. Now we're going to do the note card thing. We go to build, select build, and we select a cone there and we res it in, drag it up out of the ground. A little bit of a shortcut for you. If you hold down shift and control at the same time, you can click on the red, blue, and green arrows to change the position automatically without having to change the numbers over in the edit pane window. That's just a little shortcut for you. So I use my blue, white, green. Now I've got it the size that I want it. Now I'm going to taper the top. So I go over here to taper. I type in 0.5 for the x-axis. Type in 0.5 for the y-axis. Okay. As you can see, my cone is now tapered up at the top. I'm going to hollow it out. And uh, to show you what it looks like hollowed out, I'll just flip up on top so that you can see it from a top-down view. What it looks like whenever you hollow out something. So I'll continue hollowing out a little bit. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So we've got a hollow cone there. Now we're going to put a ball or a sphere on top of that cone. So we go to build and we click on sphere and drag it in. Okay, let's make the sphere a little bit larger. Let's make it like, what, 0.6. So we'll just type in, since it's a sphere, it's, it's got to have 0.6 in all of them in order for it to be round. So we got 0.6 in all of them. Now all we have to do is to align it with our cone. And again, we're going to use our little trick. We click on the cone, copy and paste the X position coordinates, click on the sphere, paste in the X position coordinates, and hit Enter. And you'll see it line up on the X axis. Click on cone, copy in the Y coordinates, click on the cube, paste in the Y coordinates. Now you'll see that it's right on that cone and I just use my blue arrow to drag it up out and sit on top of my cone. There you go. So I got a nice little note card giver object. Let's put some textures on it. Click on texture, full bright, Hmm, let's make something granite. We go to our library of textures. Let's get a really sturdy stone. Let's scroll down to rock. There's rock. And we'll look for granite. There it is, granite. There you go. Nice, strong granite. Apply now. Let's put a texture on this sphere. Let's go up and uh, click on it. Click on the uh, texture plywood. I have my own textures. I like a little impod texture that I've got down here that I've made. It looks, uh, it's got some nice clear glass effects to it. Move it over so you can see it when we apply it. There you go. All right. So now we've got a texture on the cone and a texture on the ball. And now we're going to add a note card to it. Open up our inventory and then click on the plus sign and select new note card. Now type in or copy and paste in whatever text that you want in your note card. This is where you would put instructions for your visitors. You can also put landmarks in there, whatever you want to put in there. Whenever you finish putting in your text, you click on Save. Then you go over to your inventory, right click and pull down to Rename. And let's rename it to Instructions for Shakespeare um, Show. Okay. Hit Return. And now we close that note card. And we have created a note card. Now let's put that note card in our object. So we right click on our object, select edit. We move our edit pane over. Click on the content tab in the edit pane. And then we simply drag that note card that we just created to the contents pane of our object. And there it is. Now remember the scripts that I gave you. So go to your scripts 
and they are called week two scripts. There are two of them, the floating text script. And you see it pop up there above our object, touch for note card, and then the note card giver script, close out our inventory. Now you can change the wording on the floating text script by opening it up and then very carefully typing in whatever words you want to type in between the two red quotation marks. So type in whatever you directions you want to show above the object. Let's watch the show. Click on Save. Okay, it says Save Complete. That means we have a valid script. And you see that it's changed now. The note card gives us a text to Let's Watch the Show. And now, because of the note card giver script in there, whenever I touch that ball up there, it's going to give me a note card. And that's what you want to do, one of the things that you want to do for your final lesson.